So, one more video about uh, Elon Musk. Uh, the guy is quite amazing trying to colonize Mars. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that is possible, like if it, it's even possible. Um, there's loads of people that say that it's not possible and uh, there's Elon Musk who thinks it is possible. Um, he recommended nuking Mars, like literally sending atomic bombs uh, to the planet Mars and just pretty much blowing them up. Um, that would be the start of terraforming, ter terraforming Mars. Um, okay, that's, that's something. Um, and then uh, when he works on spa uh, in SpaceX, this is his uh, private uh, company, privately held company, uh, so it's not a public company. Uh, no IPOs for SpaceX yet. Um, it basically it basically means that. Uh, I mean, that means, but uh, Elon Musk said once that he's working on Mars colonial architecture. I mean, it, it's just mind-boggling, like, how, how, how? Like, there's so many things, all the infrastructure has to be built from scratch. And uh, he's doing it at, the cre at incredibly fast uh, speeds. Um, like building this, uh, what's it called, the uh, starship, like he has like iterations of it, like this is like the fifth version of uh, starship, it's crazy. And uh, he aims to get the approval for testing uh, starship, um, specifically, uh, specifically the flight of starship this year, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Because uh, he said that uh, if there's no way to get to Mars, then it doesn't matter if we are going to have a plan to build an infrastructure on Mars. Even though it just sounds like out there, like a bit crazy. Um, but is he, uh, as he once said, if it's important, just it has to be done. Um, so yeah. And the guy's a billionaire, like, hats off to that. Lots of people can't even uh, pay their bills, and this guy's a billionaire. Like, he recently passed like 80 billion mark, but then again, his net worth is up and down all the time. So yeah, crazy stuff, but, um, some people are uh, great. They do big things, they achieve big things, and they work on big things. And, uh, yeah. What else about Elon Musk? Like, the ba like, yeah, the guy is just basically uh, a genius. He studied physics, uh, engineering, electrical engineering, structural structural engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, software engineering. Obviously he cannot be specialized uh, very deeply in all of them. That's just impossible. But he has uh, great knowledge. Uh, like, if you watch some of his interviews, what he speaks, like, you can be a retard. Uh, and know all this stuff and uh, if you basically watch some of these videos where he lays out a blueprint for building the uh, uh, the rocket Falcon I don't know which Falcon but one version of the Falcon because um, there's multiple versions of the Falcon rocket it's uh, he knows it uh, and he borrowed the book from one of the great engineers for building rockets about rocket propulsion, uh, building engines, Raptor engine, uh, all the uh, stuff he knows about uh, 
how to build rockets properly, like for the Starship, uh, the greatest uh, design uh, idea was to build uh, stainless steel uh, as a heat shield, like to use stainless steel for the front side of the rocket uh, as a heat shield, uh, basically when you are uh, approaching the landing, which is like uh, something that uh, lots of his engineers uh, presumably didn't think of. Um, what else about him? Like, uh, loads of people basically don't fully understand him. They just think he's some kind of a scam artist. Uh, and I'm not gonna fully argue with that. But the main point is that you can't be in business and be a saint. That you, I, I have not seen that ever. Like, any person that achieves anything, and it doesn't have to be business, there are no saints. I'm not saying you have to be like a twisted mafia killer or some kind of a Machiavellianistic uh, type deceptionist, uh, but you have to get things done. And uh, Elon Musk, uh, he's one of the few of the lesser evils that are doing something out in the world. He's not selling cocaine, he's not selling prostitution, uh, at least as far as I know. And uh, yeah, he's really trying to do something positive in the world with these uh, electric uh, uh, Teslas, electric uh, cars. Um, yeah, he's basically succeeding. And imagine just, uh, you, you literally can be a complete retard and do all this stuff. Like he has uh, Tesla, he's the CEO of Tesla, a CTO of Tesla. Uh, he knows how to use uh, lessons from uh, SpaceX and apply them in Tesla. And he knows how to use the lessons that he learns uh, from Tesla and uses them in SpaceX. Like if you watch his interviews and not everybody has time to do so, I understand. But uh, since I was like looking up to him, I watched him like uh, when I first heard of him, like I watched a lot of his videos. He is not a complete scam artist. And I'm not saying he is a scam artist because it depends on your definition of scam artist. Some people just uh, uh, lose a normal, regular competition and they call somebody a scam artist. No, if there are rules to competition and you lose in a competition you lose I mean that's just the way it is even in sports do you think everybody will follow the rules no just competition and in the business world where billions are at stake like do you expect somebody to be a saint like wake the hell up because um, lots of people might say, oh, Elon Musk, uh, he's like uh, pulling all these stunts and uh, saying crazy things on Twitter. And because he's doing so, he's lowering his credibility. Who cares? Like, that's marketing. He could be doing it because of marketing to attract attention. It's not that easy to get attention. Like, take the lesson from... Uh, Ty Lopez, one of the best uh, internet slash social media marketers uh, in the modern day. Like he says it all the time, it's extremely hard to be at the top in the comp uh, to be at the top uh, in the uh, marketing game. Like he said, it's painful. It's extremely difficult. It's excruciating. And so. Anybody that says uh, somebody is losing credibility due to them doing marketing, they've not run a business. Like, if anybody can point out a saint running a business, a successful business, a multi-million or a multi-billion dollar business, like, po go ahead. Like, I've not found them. And um, if you have found them, well, then that's just great because uh, those people then should be more public. Um, 
Cause yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a big world. Yeah.